Welcome people, it's me, OG Duffy, with some latest pickup for you. Now, what have I got in this video? I visited a charity shop, and I've got some footage coming up of that, and uh, it had some great retro stuff in there, right? And I mean, some we're talking boxed consoles, we're talking absolutely immaculate stuff, right? And I got well excited... Till I looked at the price tags. So I've got that coming up along with some eBay pickups, all right, that are all going to be added to the collection, which is still coming out of storage slowly, but, sh you know, it's happening, it's happening. So without further ado, let's get to it. Well, first titles I saw here were these uh, Nintendo DS titles, and as you can see, they're sort of Nintendogs and the brain training games and all that. They wanted £3 each for these. Now, personally, I don't know what you guys think, but to me, they're a pound maximum charity shop shovelware, as they say. Let me know your thoughts, you agree, disagree with that price. Then I spotted this, uh, a Game Boy Advanced boxed. Uh, and the box looked pretty good condition and I had to open up the cabinet and uh, I had to look at the back of the box and uh, for the console only, that's not the game that you see there or anything else, just for the console, they wanted £60. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean I looked on the, uh, I've looked on eBay and about £60 box one of these is a, is a good price, it's about the going rate, but I personally believe charity shops are charged maybe £50 they'll turn more stuff around, because let's be honest, they're getting that stock for free, all the money's going to the charity, and uh, they'll sell more, and it'll sell quicker, and that's more money to the charity. That's my fault anyway, so let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Okay, spoiler alert, uh, I picked this up, so at the end of the video, you're going to see this game. Now I'll pay £12 for this, I personally think it was too much for a charity shop price, and it's probably about the going rate that you pay at CEX, that's obviously what they're basing their uh, their pricing structure on, but I just don't see games like this in the wild anymore, and to see a Mega Drive games like this, I had to have it. I mean, I might already have it in the collection, I don't know, because as you know, it is coming out of storage, slowly but surely, might be a double, but hey, I, I picked it up, I had to, I couldn't leave it. Now this caught my eye, uh, I looked it up and I thought it was Puck Man, but it's actually Puck Monster. Uh, looking it up on eBay, sold listings, boxed like this, it's gone from anywhere from £10 uh, through to about £16 boxed, and as you can see they're asking 40 Oh dear. Now this one caught the eye and actually was not badly priced. It was £30 for a Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, they're going for about £40 upwards on eBay, so that wouldn't have been a bad pickup at all. Now this box Nintendo DS Lite looked very nice, good packaging, etc. Again, checked out the price on this and uh, £70 for that one, £70. As you know, in a recent pickup video, I got one of them at a very good price, and uh, there's the thumbnail. Go find that. Check it out if you haven't already seen it. Here it is a, a Wally, a Lego Wally. That was £60. My wife's got that set. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I knew it wasn't that much. But I know it's a collectible, uh, collectible piece now. I mean, if it was boxed, it'd be a good price, but it wasn't. So uh, that was the cabinet in this shop. Um, and then we moved over and had a look at the uh, the titles here. As you can see, there was nothing really in, in the games this time. But I did ask very nicely if they had any games out the back. And I will show you what I managed to get from them when I uh, do my pickups at the end. So I did get a few results in it, nothing major, but something nonetheless. And this is another charity shop I visited, uh, went along the shelf there, 
Uh, only two titles here. I mean, this here, Sing Star, Sing Along with Disney. Now, do you guys think that's a bit of me? What do you reckon? And there was this Jamie Fox, I Might Need Security. Mm. Yeah, that was a fiver, that one, uh, for a Sony disc for the PSP, I believe. So that concludes the, uh, the little short footage there I took of the charity shop. So let me know your thoughts, please. Do you think charity shops are right or wrong to charge them sort of prices? Um, my personal belief, and you can agree and disagree because you know we love debate on this channel. I personally believe that um, it's fair enough for charity shops to look at the prices of these things. So, for example, if the title come in and it was worth, say, £20 uh, via sort of CEX was selling it for, say, 20 and eBay sales was, say, £20. To be fair, uh, I think because it's been given for free to the charity shop, if I was running a charity shop, I'd probably sell that on for about 15 to £15, £16. Pound. So it's slightly under what you'd pay in the shops and eBay, but I think you'll get a faster turnaround. So people like collectors like us still feel they're getting a bit of a bargain, even when we're not. Okay, so there is that. Now, what did I pick up when I was in that charity shop anyway? I did not get any of the consoles that you saw that were boxed at that price. As I said, they are all a bit too pricey for me. But what I did get was the following items. Okay. Um, I asked them. I said, you've got any games out the back? And they said, oh, what? You just want Sonic Hedgehog and Mega Drive and that? I was like, no, I didn't know anything. So they bought out a, 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 about eight um, Xbox games, Xbox 360s. So I went through. So I got I got run of these before anyone else. So these were a quid each. Nothing special. Uh, driver, San Francisco, a pound. All complete as well. All got the manuals, all with discs. Good stuff. This one, which is an Xbox, original Xbox game. Shattered Union. Now, that was a quid. I know absolutely nothing about this game. But I thought for a pound, I still had like the original Xbox Seal thing going on as well. Uh, this one, obviously come with a, a, a console, a new console. Uh, two games on there. Pure and Lego Batman. Obviously come bundled in with an Xbox. And there was this, which you see in the video... Uh, which was Aladdin on Mega Drive. As you can see, I mean, to see Mega Drive games like this out in the wild, uh, in charity shops like now, is becoming rarer. Uh, and manual, all there, and you see the cartridges there. Now, I've got quite a few Sega Mega Drive games uh, in my collection that, as we know, is coming out of storage. So, I may already have this. Okay, but I paid over the top for that. The price I paid for that is probably similar to what you pay for... Um, in CX and stuff, but you know what? I saw it and I thought, no, I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna treat myself because you know what? I'm worth it. That was 12 notes, that one, 12 notes. Did I pay too much? Probably, but you know, hey, I saw it, it was in the wild. Uh, okay, some other charity shop pickups that I've had was, uh, let's have a look here, Spider-Man. Right, I don't know which, is that the movie edition? I think it's number one. I'm not sure if it could be movie or whatever. But again, it was pucker condition. Comes with the manual and the disc was great condition with that one. Uh, then I got this. I saw this. This was I paid two pound fifty for this. Right? Might pay too much. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Uh, it's a max memory card for the PlayStation Two. As you can see, it's new and it's sealed. It's completely sealed. And that was two pounds fifty. And I thought for that price. You know, 16 meg as well, that is. So I thought for that price, hey, no worries. Next up, eBay pickups. All right, I've had some Ebays um, come through. A bit of a mixed bag here. Um, this one, Tiger Woods on the GameCube. All right. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting to get my GameCube games out of the collection. It's gradually, slowly, it's dripping through. Uh, so I'll add that to it because it's one I haven't got. I do like a golf game. I'm a sucker for a golf game and a boxing game. Well, I've probably found a boxing game for that. I've got this as well. Sum of All Fears on uh, GameCube. Again, got manuals, complete, etc. Good condition. Sexy little discs, weren't they, on the old GameCube? <laughs> um, so they were a the couple of GameCube pickups I had. Then, got this, right? It come with the original sticker of the price on it. Uh, this is by Ultimate Play the Game. Uh, it's one of the Commodore 64 titles they've done. And this one is Entombed. Entombed. And as you know, these games are bloody old now. Um, but again, original cassette tape there. 
and comes with a manual still. Manual's in nice nick. I mean, it folds out. It's all good in good condition still. As you can see there, I mean, look at that. And I love Ultimate Play the game. I think back in the day, they were just an amazing games company. Uh, and they got bought out. I think they become rare, rare games, not sure. But there you go. I'm sure someone will know out there, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, and finally, final two pickups I got uh, were Super Nintendo titles. Love me, SNES, as we know. Great, great games. But before I do that, let me know in the comments, do you agree, disagree with these fines? Do you let me know about the charity shop debate? Do you think it's right or wrong? Alright? Like I say, everyone's opinion matters here, alright? It doesn't matter if you agree or disagree with me. I will still debate with you in a nice, healthy, friendly manner. Because that's what OG Duffy's all about. Keeping it nice. Alright? And if you don't already do so, please subscribe. Because I makes me happy, as you know. So anyway. The two SNES games, here we go. Both are complete. Nothing special there. Nigel Mansell's World Championship. Uh, a bit of a Formula One game. I'll put this in one of these protective sleeves. I've got some of these. Um, so I'll be going through them at one point. And this game, oh, this is my favourite. Sim City. Right, I had this originally on my SNES when I was a nipper years ago. Well, I weren't really a nipper, actually. I was more a teenager. Late teens, actually. Started drinking in pubs, so... Yeah, yeah. I was at least 15 plus then. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's another story for another day. So that's SimCity. Great game, and I love this. And it's just... It, you can waste hours on SimCity. Uh, both with instructions and the rest of it. And there was one other pickup, which I'm just going to grab. And it is this, right? It is this. I got this a good price on eBay. And you'll see why it was a good price, as he, he says, putting it back together. Um, because it's a bit beaten up, this one. It's gone a few rounds with Mr. Tyson. Uh, but hey, live to tell this tale. And here it is. Oh, I can't even get that one in. Here we go. Right, here we go. Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the SNES. Now, look at the state of the box, right? You see the state of that box where all the wear is on the edges and everything else, right? Well, what I'm going to do, it's complete though, it's got the manual and it's got the cartridge and that. I'm going to do a quick video on this uh, and I'm going to try and and put a, project a bit of life back into this, this bad boy here, alright? So keep your eyes peeled on the channel for that one, alright? Because as you can see, it's a it's a bit beaten up. But it's a great title, isn't it? It's, it's Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghosts and Goblins, all them great things. But surprisingly, although this was a, you know, Ghouls and Ghosts was a Capcom game, on the cover here, I can't see Capcom's logo anywhere. Because you know I'm a sucker for Capcom and Konami games. So why? Why is that, folks? Come on. You lot are an intelligent bunch. There's not a lot between you. You don't know when it comes to video games and retro stuff and all that. So why is Capcom's logo not on that copy of that game? Be interested to know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and uh, stay safe. And I'll see you all soon, all right? Cheers. If you watch the video and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. Thanks for watching.